Right now on Access, Dylan Farrow's emotional breakdown. Did her father Woody Allen molest her when she was a child? Allen to this day says no. Through the Me Too movement, Dylan has given new life to these claims. Today on CBS This Morning, Gail King showed Dylan a clip of Allen denying the accusations on 60 Minutes back in 1992. Isn't it illogical that I'm going to, at the height of a, a very bitter, acrimonious custody fight, drive up to Connecticut where nobody likes me in the house. I'm, I'm with a house full of enemies. I mean, Mia was so enraged at me and, and she had gotten all the kids to, to be angry at me that I'm going to drive up there and suddenly on visitation, pick this moment in my life to become a child molester. Overcome with emotion, Dylan wiped her eyes watching the video of her estranged father in which he denies her sexual abuse allegations. Now married and a mother of a 16-month-old daughter, Dylan told Gail she thought she'd be able to handle watching the clip. He's lying and he's been lying for so long and it is difficult for me to see him and to hear his voice. I'm sorry. For decades, Woody and Dylan have maintained two completely different stories. Woody has claimed Dylan's mother, Mia, coached Dylan into making the accusations. After Mia found nude pictures of her daughter, Suni, in Alan's apartment, Mia adopted Suni during a previous marriage. On many, many occasions, many occasions, over the phone and in person, um, Mia had said to me, you took my daughter and I'm going to take yours. What did she mean by that? She meant by it that I had formed a relationship with her 21-year-old daughter and she was going to get my daughter. What I don't understand is how is this crazy story of me being brainwashed and coached more believable than what I'm saying about being sexually assaulted by my father. In a statement today, Woody once again denied Dylan's claims, and despite two criminal investigations, no charges were ever filed against him. In a tweet, Dylan says coming forward on television was not an easy decision or one made lightly. I knew full well I'd be put under a microscope, my words analyzed, my appearance critiqued. I believe Dylan. Yeah. I would want to say that. Yeah. I believe you, Dylan. Yeah. Now I'm going to start crying, but wow. <laughs> Dylan has been waiting a long time for validation, like the one she watched from Natalie Portman. It was back in 2014 that she first went public with her claims in a New York Times open letter. Since then, Allen has released four films and his latest, A Rainy Day in New York, starring Timothy Chalamet, Selena Gomez, and Elle Fanning, is due out this year. Are you angry with the people, with the celebrities that are starring in his movies that hold him in high regard and continue to compliment him? I'm not angry with them. I hope that, you know, especially since so many of them have been vocal advocates of this Me Too and Time's Up movement, that um, they can acknowledge their complicity. If they can't acknowledge the accusations of one survivors, how are they gonna stand for all of us? Timothy and Rebecca Hall, who also star in A Rainy Day in New York, just admitted they regret working with Allen and donated their salaries to Time's Up and other charities. Ellen Page, Mira Sorvino, and Greta Gerwig are among the other actors who have expressed similar sentiments. The Raps editor-in-chief, Sharon Waxman, weighs in on whether Woody's time is up. There was a lot of question, I think, at, at a certain point uh, as to whether people wanted to work with Woody Allen. I'm going back like 10 years. My sense was that people chose to give him the benefit of the doubt. It may be that it tips the other way mm -hmm. right now. She's got a point there. I yeah. wonder going forward what actors, especially women, would work with him again. Or if this movie will even come out at this point. Or if Woody Allen will feel the need to speak again like he yeah. did before. Yeah.